Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a very special Grand Seiko limited edition, the SBG Y003. So let's take a look. Warranty and instructions manual. And here is that very famous blue Grand Seiko watch box. And inside you'll see this beautiful 20th anniversary spring drive logo. Because this is a limited edition model which was supposed to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Grand Seiko spring drive movement. So, very special piece. And there is the watch guys. Absolutely stunning beautiful and here is the hang tag and you guys can see the price right there this one retailed for 7600 this is just a stunning piece guys and it's a very good size as well at 38 and a half millimeters and you'll see the whole front of the case is polished and the sides are brushed so it's a very different dynamic and a different take on their typical polishing styles that Grand Seiko is kind of known for and you guys can tell from the side profile here that this watch is super thin even with that slight bubble crystal right there it's only a tick over 10 millimeters thick which is ideal for dress watches and this is a very ideal dress watch. And as part of Grand Seiko's elegant collection, this is a very much proper dress watch. And this case shape, this watch actually made this very famous. There's a couple other models which also follow this case shape, but this model particularly was so special and so unique because of the dial. You can see the sun ray kind of sunburst effect there. It just looks stunning. And you see those lines and as the light touches it, you can see that it goes from being an all white dial to this line texture and it just looks stunning. Another thing you'll notice is there's no date. So this is a spring drive model which does not have a date on it and it also doesn't have a power reserve indicator. So it's a very clean three-hander but it's still a spring drive with that beautiful blued second hand and very minimal text on the dial as well. So you get a very clean dial but you still get that beautiful spring drive sweeping second hand movement and it's just a sight to behold. With it is included this beautiful genuine crocodile strap. It's just a black strap, uh, very dressy, goes with a white dial. I think it's, it just looks like an ideal dress watch piece and you get that Grand Seiko buckle very beautifully finished as well. Turn over to the back and you can see that beautiful spring drive movement. Okay, you can see the back plate which is covering the spring drive movement, but still looks very beautiful. And you could tell the finishing on this is just impeccable. So this watch is out of 700 pieces. So very rare and very hard to find. I believe this watch sold out almost immediately after release. So very tough to find limited edition piece guys. But if you can find one for a good deal close to MSRP or just a little bit above MSRP, I'd pounce on that. And the finishing guys, I can't say this enough. It is leagues above the typical Grand Seiko watches even. Um, you just see the hour markers glistening and the hands and everything. There's no rough polishing, nothing you can find at fault here. I know with their lower tier Elegant Series dress watches, you can still sometimes find some rough edges in places where you normally wouldn't look. So they're still finished really well compared to like Swiss standards. But this I say would go even beyond that. This is very easily could rival a paddock, if not go beyond that even. But like I said, it's very beautifully finished and I believe it's a top contender for a dress watch. So let's get it on wrist and see how it fits. All right, guys, here it is on wrist. And what can I say? It looks spectacular. You can see that the short lugs really help it fit even on smaller wrists such as myself. I have a six and a half inch wrist and this is a 38 and a half millimeter dress watch. And as you guys know, with dress watches on a small wrist like mine, they tend to look a lot bigger versus like sports watches. This one still fits pretty well because of the relatively short lugs. Another factor is going to be the white dial. Light colored dials, especially white and silver, tend to look larger than darker colored dials. But also the fact that this is a dress watch and has very thin bezel and very thin case, it's mostly dial and that will typically always look larger on the wrist. So if you have a small wrist like mine, you might feel like it's a little large for you, depending on how you like your dress watches to fit. I like my dress watches to fit properly small, and I don't really care if my sports watches go up to 42 millimeters. But when it comes to dress watches, I feel like the sweet spot is between 36 and 38 millimeters. So this one might look a tad big, but because thanks to the short lugs, it still tends to fit my wrist pretty well. And you can still see the, the strap from the bottom and the top, pretty good amount of it, so it looks proportionate. But overall, dressing this up or down, I think would look spectacular. Of course, dressing it up will look amazing, but I can see people wearing this as a casual watch as well. It's a very beautiful piece and very hard to come by. And I mean, the finishing and the dial is just so amazing on this that I feel like anyone would kind of be happy with this. And it's definitely a good collector's piece as well. I can definitely see this going up in value. It already spiked up quite a lot. And as trends show, it's only going up. But if you can find this for a decent deal, I highly recommend it. Not just to store, but to wear because something this beautiful deserves to be worn more. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments below. See you guys next time.